morning and welcome back to Avatopia's Let's Play the Banner Saga 2 as we're about to leave. This is, of course, is episode 22 in my Let's Play series. Oh, some of our heroes are injured and need to rest in camp. I think this is Travel Council. Heals them, doesn't it? Marrow declined. <clears throat> the miners of Bindal are rough drought. Not a bad place to recruit new blades. The old wanderer fights his way up next to you. Can't see a beep thing in this mess. Guess old Erex hasn't forgiven you, you yet after all. Shouldn't you have died already? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't remember there being much to see here. Keep bringing up Erex and you'll cough up more than Pillen. Shouldn't you die already? <laughs> Spark grunt soon enough, I reckon. Of course, these old bones won't be forming any mountain brambles more like he squints into the distance. There's bound to be more people from Osdar trying to find a new home in Bildar, Sparrow says. Crowded towns haven't always been good for us. What's got you worried, old man? There's never been trouble we couldn't fight our way out of. We're only stopping long enough for supplies. <clears throat> our trouble we uh, or trouble we couldn't find our way into, Sparrow says. Most of the ravens are hungry and lonely. Think that mixes well with a bunch of other people who are hungry and scared. He has a point, but well, there's little to be done about it. The idea of being around so many others in such a confined space makes you tense. You crave a long hunt and sleep in solitude. I haven't really got enough supplies to do anything. It sucks to buy them here. So I just upgraded them. I was hoping we had a, long more, a bit more of a journey before we got here. Oh, five. I think I can train or something to get some more renown. I like going, who are these guys? All of these people are looking for food in her home. There's a lot of them. And I'm looking for ale. Is that so much to ask for? Oh yeah, I forgot the drunks with us. <laughs> oh, here's the town. So these are outside, so I'm not letting them in or something. So why are these outside the town? This looks like we come to a gate. Yeah, here's the gate. There's a fence. Looks like they're not allowed in. This could cause some trouble. I bet that scout tower already sent word of us being here, I guess that was. It went too fast. As soon as they see it here, it's probably here. The snowstorm is worse than ever as you arrive at the walls of the mining town of Bindale. Or Bindale. The gates are closed and you beat a, you beat a fist against them. Open the well, that Fenny gate, you shout. From the wall, two men just look down on you, then recede. Soon the gates open enough for half a dozen well trained guards to greet you. Their one eyed captain points and says, Just you. Volta steps to your side. Not alone, she says. Get back with the others. Mm, she comes with me. The captain takes a moment to assess the situation and nods before following him through the gate. You bark commands to the other ravens to stay close and vigilant. Did he ambush me? I've got a backup at least. Inside the small ga uh, gatehouse, sorry, not gather, gatehouse are the two menders from the wall, a woman with a fancy spear and a cub of a man holding a staff. A cub of a man. Okay. Look at this flowing hair. Valzan. It is the Raven Banner. So it seems, but why Why here? Why now? Just passing through on our way to Blue River, but this blasted storm caught us. Plan to come back this way afterwards for more work, but now we need some food and a place to hold up. We brought some people with us. They need a new home. I'm sure it felt like the right thing to do, but we've already beyond our capacity here. Are you Barvik? Barvik Bloodaxe? Hold your tongue, uh, Nichols. Do you know about me, boy? Or I cut it out. What do you know about me, boy? I've heard all your tales. I can't believe your cold bear cloak is real. Is it true your axe handles are made from your own horns? Wow, that's impressive it is. The old mender places a hand on your young man. 
on the young man's shoulder. Well, I never knew I was travelling with such a legend. You know her. Are you in charge here? Where's the governor? The governor left for Albering, Albering a while back with most of the fighters to settle a dispute. The Mender Council sent me to bring the people of Bindal West as well as we've heard too many rumours of dredge. <clears throat> More than rumours, we were in Bosgard, saw Bellowa. Oh yeah, that's like the big boss at the end of the first game. That was ridiculous, that was. The immortal Sunder, how did you escape? Immortal was a joke, he's dead. Nichols' eyes go wide in awe, but Zerv looks passive. What about the great rift that opened between Buzzard and Osundar? We managed. Yeah, we don't have to mend the with us who did it, but still. Zerv looks like she wants to press you for more information. Enough, open the gates for my ravens. Mercenaries will, will only panic the people, with everyone from Osdar, or whatever that word is, it's all I can do to keep them from stampeding like wild hawks, threatening to attack the walls. Fine, we'll camp out uh, against the eleven walls now. Open the gates or they'll have reason to panic. The guards in the room draw their weapons and aim them at you. While the blood axe, even your renowned strength would fail against walls protected by Valken and her apprentices. But we're on a job for Valken. You snarl at uh, Foka. For saying too much, she shrugs in response. Maybe she brought her in here. I'm not aware of another Valka being out this direction. Who has tasked you? Juno. She just steps back at the name and studies your face for a moment. Nich Nichols, you, you and the guards see what you can do outside the walls for the people. I'll see to it and make sure the ravens are comfortable. The young men that nods respectfully to Zafa and grins at you and... Folka before leading the guards through the gate. Myra approved, yes. I'm inviting only the two of you to stay within our walls and enjoy a bit more warmth and comfort. Separate us from the ravens? No, good. But try anything and my ravens will level this place. Then welcome, and no one is going to try anything. There's no need for such mistrust. Maybe, but I shouldn't, shouldn't have to tell you about my job from the superior just to get an invitation from your superior. My sir, no, you misunderstood. You have no job. The Vulcan known as Juno is dead. Uh, we're speaking to her, so she's not. Chapter ten to speak in all was that tongues. We're speaking to her. She's not dead. As they basically kicked her out and tried to kill her. Or is it going back to him now and she's died? Oh, it is. So wait, oh, we're going back to Rook. So they're up here. So is, is okay, so what's this now? Is this, after he left in that journey we've done, and then, what's this? I don't know, say it took us five days. That five days, now we're going back to five days before, and what these are doing going in the opposite direction? Or is this happening right here and now, as they're over there? This one energetic member, mender approaches, looking both worn and troubled. I'm not sure I thanked you for the time to recover. Uh, I've never wo woven, woven, woven? W woven a spell <laughs> that strong before. Are you sure you're ready to move on, you look? I know I caught my reflection earlier. It's a more mature look. You get with the beard. <laughs> The mender grinned and a hint of his former youth shined through. Not everyone would have stopped for so long, especially with the ground rumbling like it has. Not everyone... Yeah, I've read that. We'll get there, no matter how long it takes. Did you have to push yourself so hard? I'm just doing what the clansmen want me to, to want to. Tell me well, what you know about the ground shaking. Did you have to push yourself so hard? Would you have given any less? You look away and say nothing. You're still Rook, no matter what happened or what's coming, except that it's not a bad thing. He nudges you in the shoulder with his staff and smiles before leaving you alone. Hmm. I guess we'll find out she dies and there's a what? 13 supplies, though. Our supplies are really low. A group of two dozen humans, thin and dirty, step off the rough path to let the caravan pass. Please, a young girl says, anything to eat? The mother eyes averted, pulled the girl by the arm to silence her. Of course, have some of our food. Why are you all out here? 
You can join us if you like. Go away from the girl and keep me. You can join us if you like. Glances are exchanged among the group until a man says, Better than us starving out here on our own. They all tend to agree and thank you for joining the railway caravan. Yay, got some clansmen. Who's gone down now? <clears throat> At least he's a better for an elm. <laughs> 35. Easy boy, a clansman shells as a yox cart nearly topples to one side. The was that tampered path on the east way. Road has steadily turned into a creaked shamble. Looking ahead, it only gets worse. Various uh, chasms agape, gap like open mouths. You glance back to everyone who looks at you and shakes his head. The entire caravan comes to a halt. Hmm, interesting. Uh, either we, we, we'll be eating our belts before finding a way across this broken road, especially with this many. And there's no telling how far we'll have to backtrack to head north. Then we'll head south across the Osman Riverbed. We can head towards Grundon at, uh, Grundar and on the west. Peers around Hackson's elbow before coming fully into view. So basically, um, Builder, or not Builder. They're in Builder, aren't they? They're going north and we're going to head south. Heading south is questionable. Though, it's questionable. Those people. Is that, uh, heading south is questionable, those people, okay, is our only option. Why do you say that? Maybe I spent a lifetime there, plenty of things to eat under logs, but there's also people in the box. His eyes go wide. The scouts should hear my rhyme, but what's wrong with heading south? Different ways of living, old ways stick to the mud, and Craigsmen are less bothersome. I think he's talking about the boggers, the rough, backward people of Swat, Swat's bog. Tarragon frowns at Ivor. Uh, words like that can find you swollen, filled with poison. He puffs out his cheeks and stares at Ivor. This is why Val tend to keep to themselves. Each human is crazy in their own way. <laughs> Tarragon hunches over with laughter until he suddenly stops, sniffs the air and marches away. Strange, but it's a fair warning. We're crossing over into lands most of us have never seen. Just because we left those dredged behind doesn't mean we won't have m more wars ahead of us. If we had more supplies, I'll say we should stop for a few days and train some of these clansmen to fight. You consider your options. Don't want to risk running out of food. Let's just camp. We consider training clansmen later. We need to keep the few remaining clansmen moving. Hmm... Yeah, I see what he's saying with the thing, but we don't want to risk running out of food, do we? Keep the few remaining classmen moving, risk running out of food. Are you sure? I know food is scarce, but if we're killed in a fight, full carts won't help us. You're right. Fair point, let's train. Calls for camp are spread down the line and either find Swen, the trainer. Yeah, he's right. We got a few days worth. Right. Well, they're not the hardened guards or fighters. I trained in Skarkon, I Iver says, but there's a chance they won't run at the first sign of trouble. He rubs his mended shoulders where an arm used to be. His, his mended shoulder. Not sure I can do much better than that that anymore. Okay, but uh, I don't like the fact we only have like eight days of supplies. I hope that wasn't a bad decision. Okay, so we can train rest heroes. I don't really want to level these people up too much until I get more food. Like the other ones, because the fighters, it's all about, yeah, we're going to train, train. Okay, let's see what he's got to say. He's the prince, isn't he? The, the prince is acting even more standoffish than usual. You and Ivor have caught him staring ahead and twisting the ring on his finger over and over. He just quietly stands nearby. Glad to be heading home? Luna turns to the two of you and offers a polite smile. Even after that chasm, would it surprise you if I said no? Even after the earlier, I thought you hated being so far from Azrak. Is there anything you actually like? It doesn't matter. That's where we're going for us right that one. Life on the trail hasn't won me over, but it's not all bad. 
it's even possible that I've learned a few things um, about le le leading people while out here. You, Ivor and Rish, are stunned to hear the prince talk this way. Whoa. Wow. Okay, before we carry on with this conversation, let's like, subscribe and that good stuff for me. It'll be amazing. And tune in next week. So bye for now, people. Bye-bye.